Hello. I'm retired MLB player Nick Schuper. I played first base for five years in the MLB, but my career was short-lived because I hit a home run that hit a damn kid and put him in a damn coma. Today we're here to learn about the bills and thrills of baseball. Thrills and chills, dills and hills, drills and skills. When you're out on the field putting in work every day, don't just do it for yourself, do it for the general. Where the hell's my damn bat? Well, change of plans. Looks like the MLB has uh, repoed all of my baseball equipment. So now, let's toss it over to our paid actors who are going to show you all the skills of baseball. Hi folks, they call me Rookie Farnham. Thank you for checking out our educational video today about the all-American sport of baseball, our favorite pastime. Now in order to be successful at the MLB and grow your baseball career to exponential portions, you need to have the basic drills and the skills down to master these sports. So what I've done, because I am such a deliberate, massive fan of baseball, I went on down to the Park District and I recruited a real-life Little League coach, Coach Hines. So the organization came to me to teach these kids about drills. So, to start, this is the Black & Decker 7 amp. And his two sons going. And Butch. And together, we will be teaching you the fundamental drills and skills of baseball. I bought a brand new bat on eBay from Bill Finn, and look at this. It's broken. A grounder is when the batter hits a ball and it goes to the ground, and then the field has a field, and they throw the first base for an out. A pop up is when the batter hits the ball up in the air. There's two kinds. There's an infield one, which an infielder goes and catches it, and then there's an outfield one where it's a way now field net to catch it, the deep ball. And um, usually they like to call it with um, like ball, 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 or my, my, my. Now what many people don't realize about the sport of baseball is that there's not one, not two, but four bases. You've got everyone's classic favorite, home plate. You've got third base, you've got first base, and you've got the often forgotten second base. Now what people don't realize is you can actually steal them. Now we're gonna steal a base. But if you're not feeling that risky, we could also go on over to Gullen, who will teach you all about leadoffs for stealing a base. All right, ladies and gentlemen, if you're wondering how to take a good leadoff and a good steal, I'm going to teach you how to do that today. Good for leadoffs. You want to take a few shovels, stay like this, and the pitcher takes his foot, say to righty, if he takes his foot off and on like that, get back, he's coming to you. If he is going straight forward, that's when he steals, you know, he's not going to go. But the lefties, you might have to be careful sometimes, because you know they pitch like this. You are allowed to go step towards it so to pick off. So when it's a lefty, you might want to have a little bit smaller lead off. And tip is when the pitcher is clueless, if he does not look at you or pick you off at all, you can take a really big lead off. Okay team, we need to get ready now for the big championship game against Mighty Mountain. So these are the positions I'm going to want you to play. LeBlanc, you're at shortstop. Moratti, you're pitching. Butch, you're playing the outfield. Some of the different kinds of pitches are the four seam fastball, which you can throw like this. Throw like a two seam. Throw a two seam like this also. There's a the curveball where you can throw it like this, or you can do like a knuckle curve like this. And what it do with the curveball is you throw it kind of like this, and you like snap them all the way down for this all the spin and movement. Then for the change up, you, you can throw it like this, you can throw it like this, you can throw it pretty much however you want. There are 
many wonderful poses to choose from when the batter is up at bat. Hey folks, this is a T right here. This is used for holding the ball up for your hand-eye coordination so that when you're hitting, you can just practice hitting the ball off the T. I think it's one of the best hitting practices you could do because it works so much on your hand-eye coordination. Right, it's rundown time. <laughs> now, a rundown is also known as a pickle because, you know, classic. Now, a rundown is when a runner is trapped between two bases and they're tossing the ball back and forth trying to get them out. So it's their duty to safely get to one of the bases or else they're out. These are all my baseball awards. I learned from the best, though. Ladies and gentlemen, we hope this talk really got under your skin and taught you everything you need to know about the drills and skills of baseball. Now, Butch, why do you like baseball so much? What, what keeps you coming back? It is America's pastime, and I really enjoy the game. How long have you been playing? Five years now. Five years, and what are some of your championship titles? The World Series. 2020. 2021 and 2022. So if you want to win three World Series championships like Butch here, follow everything we said to a T. This is for the general. Oh my goodness. And that's why the men and women of the US Postal Service are some of the hardest workers we have. And that's strike three. So thanks for tuning in this week. I'm out. Make sure you tune into my next video where I'll show you how to get out of jury duty with nothing but a stick of gum.